Hey everyone, Jen Kitchman here from Ice Resin. Numbers are a really hot trend right now and I want to show you how to do cold enameling on some numbers. Let's get going. So here's one of our Art Mechanic 2's. They are just great. We have all kinds of numbers in a pack for you. What you want to do is you want to take our cold enameling medium and you want to put a little bit on your number. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to take our iced enamels powders and you just want to sprinkle them right on top of the number. And just cover the number completely. And then for a little bit of extra sparkle, we have some glitz powders. This is our enameling, our enameling powders with a little bit of super fine glitter put in there. If you put glitter straight on, it's going to blow away. So what you need to do is use our glitz powders. Okay, so the next thing, this is one that I've already done, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to heat it in order to do the cold enameling. You want to heat the metal from the side that's going to allow it to warm up so the enameling powders, really powders, melt right in. Can we do two at once when we've got them on there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to let that cool and then you want to go ahead and seal it with some ice resin. To do that, you want to take some resin that's already been mixed up. Take your disposable paintbrush and you just want to go ahead and seal on, seal in a quick coat. Please do make sure that you let your number charm completely cool off before you do this step. A little bit of resin. It's the ice resin that makes it be cold enameling and it's also what gives you permanent color on metal. So this is a process that has to work together. Set that aside to dry six to ten hours and then you've got a gorgeous iced enameled charm to be able to use in your jewelry. Take a look at some of our products we have over here. Here's some samples of what our numbers and our silhouettes look like when they've been iced enameled and completely finished and how you begin and what you do in order to do permanent cold enameling color on metal. Thanks you guys, let's get going.